After months of leaks and speculation, the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro arrived on the market in style. Google took the lessons it learned from its first-gen TensorPower devices and launched two of the best Android phones on the market, offering a well-rounded package at affordable prices that undercut the competition. But with those phones now established as the rulers of the smartphone world, it's time to look at what's on the horizon for the Pixel series. 2023 looks jam-packed with Google-made Android devices, from the long-rumored Pixel Fold to the dock-based Google Pixel Tablet and the mid-range Pixel 7a. But it's the Pixel 8 series that we're dreaming about. No matter how much we love last year's flagships, there's always room for improvement. It's still early for Pixel 8 rumors, but we know some key details about Google's next mainline phones. While we're destined to see some real-world leaks later in the year, all we have to work off of are codenames, data mined information, and the first few renders. Still, that gives us a good idea of what's coming down the pike from Google. This year's phones have two codenames, Husky and Shiba. Based on leaked display information for both devices, Husky seems to be the Pixel 8 Pro, with a 2822 by 1344 resolution, while the smaller Pixel 8, Shiba, sports a 2268 by 1080 resolution. Both are reduced from the current Pixel 7 phones. That could point toward a new design for both phones and a slightly smaller Pixel 8 offering. Renders have now confirmed this to be the case with a 6.2-inch screen in the cards for the Pixel 8. That's slightly smaller than the Pixel 7 at 6.3 inches, but nowhere close the 5.9-inch Asus Zenfone 9. As far as its specs go, we know Google Tensor G3 is currently in testing. Codename Zuma, Google's third-gen custom chipset, is rumored to be based on the unannounced Samsung Exynos 2300 processor. It's based on Samsung's 3M node, which developer Cuba Wuchi Husky says should be comparable to TSMC, the foundry currently relied on by Qualcomm and Apple. The current Google Tensor G2 remains a 5M chipset, so this could improve efficiency and overall performance. In March, we got our earliest look at what the Pixel 8 Pro's design might look like. Unsurprisingly, Google isn't rocking the boat here. These renders, which come from noted leaker on leaks, show off a device that looks like a slightly modified Pixel 7 Pro. Basically, there are three basic changes here, and they all point to a minor upgrade. The most noticeable change is the new camera bar. Unlike with previous models, the camera lenses here are far more spread out across the device, giving each sensor some extra space and potentially helping to stop that nasty shattering issue we've seen on last year's phone. The corners, meanwhile, seem far more rounded, more in line with the Galaxy S23 Plus than the square-off corners of the S23 Ultra. Finally, Google has finally given the Pro a flat display, matching the panel on its smaller devices. OnLeaks also teamed up with Maysmart Price to give us renders of the regular Pixel 8. It mostly looks right in line with the design introduced with the Pixel 6 and then refined with the Pixel 7, though it's obvious that everything looks just a little condensed. The renders otherwise reveal the same dual camera setup on the back in a familiar visor-style camera array. What's interesting is that Google will seemingly switch to a polished metal frame rather than a brush one, bringing the Pixel 8 right in line with the Pixel 8 Pro. This might just be a stylistic decision for the renders, though. The power button and volume rocker remain in the same position, with Google one of only a few companies that put power above volume. We don't know much more about what the Google Pixel 8's hardware might entail. Rumors over last summer suggested Google is experimenting with a ceramic phone. Although the specific model mentioned in those claims turned out to be coding for the Google Pixel 7a, it would make more sense to see a high-end durable material like ceramic appear on the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Likewise, we're also expecting Google Pixel 8 lineup to sport an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. It's still an under-display fingerprint sensor, but it should be faster than the Pixel 7's optical sensor. We're optimistic that the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor should be significantly faster than its predecessors, but doubt it will keep pace with the one on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. If you're discussing the Pixel series, you can't ignore the camera. Google built its successor to the Nexus program on its impressive photo capabilities, combining excellent hardware with cutting-edge software and AI-powered photo processing. In the past, we've seen Google stick with camera sensors for years at a time. It wasn't until the Pixel 6 that the company ditched the sensor it used in the Pixel 3. But with this year's lineup, that might change. Developer Cuba Woichi Husky spotted support for Husky and Shiba in Google's Camera Go app, specifically referencing staggered ATR support. It's a fresh approach to ATR photography, simultaneously capturing short and long exposures to improve capture time. However, the GN1 sensor currently used on the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 6 before it doesn't support it on a hardware level, implying Google plans to shake up its camera tech on the Pixel 8. 
For other manufacturers, switching to a new sensor after two generations isn't unheard of. Still, it displays a new, hardware-focused approach for the company. Unsurprisingly, Google is also working hard to improve Knight's sight on its next-gen smartphones. In the latest version of Google Camera, specific code changes made with the Pixel 8 series in mind points to better low-light photography when using Super Res Zoom. On the Pixel 7, Google's impressive digital zoom tool only works in good lighting. Try to use it at night to your own peril. But with the Pixel 8, it looks like the company plans to expand night sight to super res zoom shots, capturing a better image through some computational magic. And speaking of software tricks, Google might bring some of its photo unblur magic to videos. There isn't much to this rumor. Frankly, it's exactly what it sounds like. This tool called Video Unblur should aim to do what Photo Unblur does on the Pixel 7 series, cleaning up your old footage and making everything just a bit more visible. Google's Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro might seem pretty far from launch, but it won't take long for news, rumors, and leaks to start swirling. Until then, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro remain excellent devices, especially considering their routine discounts. If you can't wait for a new generation of Pixel, both devices will serve you well. So how do you like the new upcoming features of the Pixel 8 lineup? Share your valuable opinion below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video, then a sub to the channel will be massive. See you for the next time. Peace out.